As the University of Utah parts ways with longtime head coach of their women's gymnastics program, Tom Farden, it's now prompting an even bigger conversation about athletes and their well-being. Back in September, an investigative firm cleared Farden of any abuse claims. Then in October, a rising gymnast chose to leave the team and the school citing abuse on that team. For a broadened perspective, Ariel Harrison spoke with a former competitive gymnast here in Utah who now coaches. Ariel. Yeah, tonight I spoke with a gymnast who competed from a young age and tells me he experienced both good and bad moments in his competitive career. Now as an adult, he says he draws on all of those experiences as he coaches young athletes. So I started gymnastics at the age of three. From a very young age, Cameron Wingro found himself training in Utah gymnastics clubs for dozens of hours each week. Seven or eight, we started going 20, 22 hours a week. Now as an adult, he uses his skill set as a member of BYU's dunk team, but also to coach young gymnasts. I've had the same boys for a couple of years now. So I started with them when they were seven or eight. And now we're getting another you know, 10, 11, 12. It's a group he's continually working to inspire, drawing on his good and bad experiences competing as a young athlete. Would you say you dealt with moments of abuse? I would say looking back, yes. Um, in the moment, did I think anything of it? No. In the moment, it was just gymnastics. Throughout the years, Wingrove said he had a handful of coaches, each he admired and wanted to work hard for. And obviously we learned from the things that I don't think worked as well. Um, growing like younger, there was a lot, like I said, of fear that I would disappoint that I do something wrong. And I think that way of coaching only goes so far. Given the recent conversation surrounding athletes and verbal or emotional abuse in Utah, I asked what advice he'd give to young athletes competing in extreme sports. Be honest with your coach, be honest with your parents, be honest with your teammates, and you know, strive to have a relationship with your coach and with the people that you are with um, that benefits you. Now, when Grove went on to say that now he's a coach, he genuinely feels the majority of coaches are striving for those uh, healthy coaching practices. Uh, as far as the U's nationally ranked program, the U did say they have an interim coach in place to lead out the team and program from this point for the time being. Reporting live, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.